I just got a special delivery today from Idle Hands Dev, Sean Hodgkins, from Canada to Australia. He sent a priority for me, which was fantastic because it got here in like less than a week instead of waiting two and a half months for it. This is the Pixo Pixel, Sean's Kickstarter, which I was back at number one. Woohoo! I actually got up at three o'clock in the morning to back it. Let's open it up. By the way, see how the box is crushed a bit? <laughs> Sean says this box is called an unsquishable or unsquashable box or something like that. And I think the post office tried it out to see whether it actually was or wasn't. I don't think anything's going to be damaged inside, but uh, you never know. Come on, get this open. I cannot wait to have a play with this. What is inside? Well, wow. okay, so I didn't order the kit, I ordered the assembled board because I didn't want to have to place 256 of these tiny little LEDs. We'll do a close up in a moment folks, first I want to have a look at what is inside. So we've got Pixo Pixel, one of 100. So this is an ESP32 based LED display, I guess you can call it, 16 by 16 RGB pixels. And so it's got an ESP32 inside, which you might be able to see inside there. And USB header, it's got buttons on the left and the right, it's the boot button and the reset, so that's to, to program it. And there will be a cable that connects these two together, I believe. Oh, no, the cable's already inside, it's the other way around. There's a, a power connector, because this thing draws a lot of power. There is prototyping space, which is very cool, and inside is an accelerometer. Might be able to see there. I think it's a uh, MPU 6050 or something like that, which is very cool. So, that was the Kickstarter, and what else is in here? We've got a USB cable. Thank you very much. Shouldn't have done that, Sean, because there is, I've got millions of them, but cool. So it's just a, an A to micro B. And here's a whole bunch of other things. So I'm a Patreon supporter for Sean. And so part of being a Patreon, I also got the kit form, which is the board. Now let's, let's open it up. Let's have a look inside. I'm going to hopefully not wreck anything when I score this. So it's not the full kit. It doesn't come with any of the LEDs. And that was, Sean mentioned that on purpose. We've got some of the panelizing to clean off here. That's cool. So that's the board that the LEDs go on. That is crazy. There's no way I'm populating that many <laughs> of them. And that's the back of the inside. Warning, copper plane is 5 volts. Cool. And then this, oh, all the bits are falling out, and I've dropped them on the floor. Okay, well, that's what happens. So, this is the other board. So this is obviously this one here, with the electronics going on the inside. Everything's labelled really nicely. Sean also supplied an ESP32 module, and a whole bunch of the hardware to actually assemble and have it stand up like that. So the only things that are missing, obviously, the, an accelerometer, which is fine, I can supply my own, and then all of the other surface mount components, which are fine. John, Sean's got a, a bomb for all of them on his, I think it's in his GitHub repository. And sorry about the noise in the background, if it, that's my printer going. And of course, Sean hasn't supplied the LEDs, that I'll have to supply the LEDs myself. So I got this kit as a thank you for being a Patreon, which is very nice of Sean but I don't think I'm going to populate it. I think I'm just going to keep this as a nice reference. Really nice boards. Beautiful. Nice matte black finish. You can see all the, uh, some of the tracks and stuff on there. Very cool. That is insane. So Sean actually got a friend of his to pick in place all of these LEDs, so he didn't have to hand place them all. Okay, let's move all this out of the way, and let's just focus in on this. Okay, so as I mentioned, we've got the ESP32 inside. We've got a USB 
micro B connector. Whole bunch of circuitry, charge circuitry, everything else. The two boards are connected via two JST headers, and you can actually see the cable inside there. There's a 2.1 millimeter power jack, accelerometer, and uh, everything else. We should plug this in and see if there's any code on it. What do you reckon? Okay, I've got USB plugged in. It's going to my Mac for my development environment, and I've currently set the Pixel Pixel in the Arduino IDE to just be an Adafruit ESP32 Feather. The Pixels itself, I believe, won't run unless you plug in the power to the 2.1 millimeter jack. So it's a 5 volt connection with obviously way more amperage needed than what you can supply through a USB connector. So I'm going to tell it to program and display the test, which I believe should just light up all the different pixels in different colors. So I'm going to tell it to compile and run that. And then I'm going to have to put it into boot mode. So I have to wait for it to compile. Okay, if it goes, trying to connect, so I, I push boot, then reset, let go of reset, let go of boot. And that puts it into program mode. It's programming right now. And now it's reset itself, and it should be displaying pixels, but it, it's not because there's no power to the pixels. So if I plug those in now, that looks a bit funky. Let's do a reset on that. There we go. So they're just all the pixels showing in different colors, just to show, it's just a test that shows it all working. You can see they're pretty, I don't even know how bright they are. I think that's brightness at 70 right now. Okay, so let's see what other examples there are. There's a particle physics. Let's see if we can get the particle physics working. I'll do a compile. So as I mentioned, there's got an, an accelerometer inside, which is the MPU. 6050. Wait for this to go. Okay, connecting. Programming. And do a reset. Whoa. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, cool. So it's using the physics to work out where it is. So you can shake it around. I wonder if it uh, matters where you hold it to start with. I think it might. I think it might expect the orientation to be standing upright. So let me just stand it upright. Do a reset. Make the program start again. Okay. I think that's better. Yeah, okay. Cool. So it might be hardwired to a default reset. <laughs> How cool is that? Nice. Okay, I wonder what else there is. Let's, let's have a look at what other examples there are. So Sean's pre-built a whole bunch of stuff. It's on his GitHub repository. What's this Pong? Ak Pong, it says. Let's have a look at this. Okay, let's just compile this. I'm just going to go through all the different examples, or some of them anyway. But this is cool. I love this. <laughs> I can sit and play with this for hours. Just waiting for it to compile. There it goes, connecting, so boot, reset, and off it goes, building. To reset it on there, oh look at that, <laughs> cool. I don't think it's um, accelerometer, accelerometer based. Oh, it is, right, I'm playing against the computer. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, oh. This is cool. Come on. Oh, no, did you get me? Oh, I got him. Yay! Okay, what else is there? There's, um... Don't know what Pixo Whip is. Let's see what Pixo Whip is. Right, it's showing an image. I wonder what the image is. Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Green on top shows what the score is. Okay, let's just put it back into program mode. Off it goes. Do, 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 do. Reset. Ah, oh, right. Look at that unexpected maker. <laughs> that is, I think it's the um, 
the list of all the different people from his Kickstarter. I think it might be all the people from the Kickstarter. So I don't know. Is there another button I use for tapping, or is it Sauromata based? No. Unexpected Maker. That was totally unexpected. Let's put the particle physics back on. Okay, let's get the upright. There we go. So that's it, folks. That is the Pixo Pixel. Obviously, once it's programmed, you don't need the USB anymore. I can just unplug that. It's going to keep running. So it's got an ESP32 inside, so it's fully internet and or Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. So I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here playing like this for a while. Nice. So shiny. These pixels are so shiny. Okay, Sean, thank you very much for making such a, a beautiful, wonderful looking device. It was part of his Make 100 project. Number one of 100. How exciting. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Click the alarm bell if you have subscribed. And until next time, bye. Uh, bye.